A no commentary version of this run can be found in the pinned comment in the comments section below. This video is intended as a game walkthrough. It is not a speedrun. All strategies in this video were made for efficiency and success rate. Please watch the entire video and listen carefully to the commentary before trying any of these strategies for yourself. Hello everyone, this is a no save, no damage, no box, 100% playthrough of Resident Evil 2 Remake's Leon A scenario on PS4. around that's weird So the uh, stipulations for 100% are all weapons, all upgrades for said weapons. Hello? Anybody there? All side packs, hmm. all Mr. Raccoons, all files. I'm playing on Something's standard difficulty. Right. And the reason for that is because you can't get all the side packs on hardcore difficulty. I don't know if you get the achievement for all right? picking up all the... Don't move. Side packs, I'll be not back. hardcore. But figured this might be a pretty good little collectathon run. Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. Freeze! I'll shoot! 
So standard difficulty is affected by a hidden difficulty value adjust system called DA. And uh, this means that uh, depending on the DA level, enemies will behave a lot differently. So there are some... Uh, there are slightly more variations in how enemies will behave on standard, but in general, you can shoot zombies in the face and they'll stagger easier because it is lower DA compared to hardcore. Don't shoot! Get down! You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later. When we're safe. Holy shit. They'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here.
you okay? So on a way to police station, there's uh, not really a whole lot to Shit. pay attention to. It's everybody. They've all turned. Just go. Just go. There it is. The station. I usually like to stay to the right here. Just move a little bit further while that zombie is making a hard turn to the right. someone here not good David Marvin you there I found a way out it's in here send reinforcements east hallway I gotta find that guy. So for the early game, gonna try to pick up knives as much as possible. Well, not knives, the handgun bullets as much as possible. <laughs> There's a first aid spray in the bathroom to the left if you want it, but uh, Jesus. So the first file, the officer's handbook, we get after that cutscene. And uh, gonna wait for this zombie to crawl over the table here. In doing so, he will be trapped in the room whenever we exit. And he won't aggro whenever we go to use the bolt cutters later. We're going to stay on the right side of this hallway over here, hug the locker to get around these two zombies and back into the main hall talk a little bit more after this cutscene.
Thanks. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I couldn't... Here. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to a hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> So with that out of the way, uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about clearing the game without a box, or without using the item box. In case it wasn't blatantly obvious from the title, no box means you do not use the item box throughout the course of the game. And the whole point of that is to get an achievement for completing the game without opening the item box. Just ignore that zombie coming through the window. Just ignore everything. Go directly in here. There's the second file, the uh, operation report. There's a map on the wall if you want it. The zombie over here is... Uh, trying to get the beef jerky in the vending machine. We're just going to kill both these zombies over here. Because they will wake up and they will head us off later whenever we go to pick up the shotgun. Usually after a zombie is on the ground, I try to poke it at least one or two times. Putting the board up over here. So that the zombie doesn't uh, bust through whenever we come back through the hallway after getting the shit after getting the uh, bolt cutters. Picking up the spade key, we're going to head back down into the west office in order to pick up the first side pack and some more files.
There's only two bullets in that locker. You could take them if you'd like. I suppose there's no reason not to. There's the operation report sitting on the table, and then there's Rookie's first assignment. Combination lock Ned and MRG will open up the desk, which will get us the high capacity magazine for the Matilda. Then we can shoot the Mr. Raccoon statue. You're wondering why I'm shooting an empty pedestal. That's because Mr. Raccoon statues do not regenerate unless you completely wipe your save file. So I'm just shooting them to show you where they are. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Yes. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> Next, we're going to head into the what used to be a save room in Resident Evil 2 Classic. The reception room over here. Six... 211 is the code on the safe over here. I bungled it up here. There's another file talking about the uh, gym in the art room and also the uh, key card for the shotgun. Helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. That means. Yeah. Dinner time. Claire, I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Uh, Marvin? I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it. Some handgun bullets on the oil drum and the bolt cutters right next to the door. We use the bolt cutters on these two chains over here. We're going to not pick up the flash grenade. We're gonna pick that up on the way out of the RPD later. So with a no box run, you have to be very, very judicious about what you pick up and when you're gonna use it. It is a little bit tough. We got the fuse, we'll remove this uh, chair over here and then we'll use the fuse, get out of here.
Once we revisit over here, there's going to be zombies pouring through the windows over here. Don't really got to worry about them so much, but because we're playing on standard, we can just shoot them in the face. And they will knock back immediately. Or sometimes even decapitate. I think the chance of uh, getting a crit roll is going to be a lot uh, higher on standard difficulty. No idea precisely what the uh, critical hit rate of the handgun is, of any of the handguns are in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake in general. Since we took out the two zombies a second ago, we're going to go into the uh, armory over here. Type in 109 to get the handgun bullets. Then we're going to use the uh, weapons locker key card to get the M870, W870. And also the storage locker terminal memo. Upon coming back in here, the uh, female cop over here will wake up. If we don't decapitate her, then we're going to finish her off with a shotgun. My friend Matt DeRock, who also does no damage runs, told me a uh, pretty neato little strat on standard. If you shoot a zombie in the face and stun it, then it gets stunned long enough for you to run up and decapitate it with a shotgun if you're quick enough. I don't think I actually do that in this run, but it's worth noting. In case you're wondering about whether these strats will work on hardcore, they actually will. Except for the part where you can't get all the side packs on hardcore, but as far as like the general enemy strategies and the uh, ammo routing, it, it, it actually will work on hardcore. So keep that in mind. All you people who are asking about whether or not I will get done with the uh, B scenario console runs, what you see is what you get. When we come back out here, we just walk around the liquor and just go wide arcs around it. Just don't even go anywhere near near the liquor, otherwise it'll uh, aggro. And it's going to make getting out of that hallway a bad time. The solution to this puzzle is fish, scorpion, water. Combine the ammo there, get the uh, combat knife. I don't use combat knives for uh, damage much in this run. Especially not for uh, using against bosses. But I do use them as defense items and to sometimes poke zombies on the ground if I need to. I mostly save the shotgun for uh, standard enemies, just zombies, dogs. Unlocking the door over here so that we can dispose of the key. That's another thing you got to do for no box runs is use the keys all the way so that you do not need to keep them in your inventory anymore. You can also get rid of knives if you need to, but rather get rid of knives than get rid of grenades. If you get rid of grenades, then you're going to have a lot of trouble against a super tyrant later. Pick up some guy's scribblings next to the side pack. I'm gonna go out here and pick up the uh, pick up the uh, file 
about the liquors. The solution over here is Lady Arrow Snake in order to get the uh, Maiden Medallion. In order to dodge around this liquor coming up, we're going to angle up over here, run directly to this corner and just sort of squeeze in between the liquor and the wall. The active damage frames on the liquor's jump start pretty late and there's not a whole lot of tracking. And with that, we are done. Completely done with the uh, RPD-1. So we're going to put in the medallions and get the hell out of here. Well, almost done. We still got to get the lion medallion. But that's at the top of this room anyhow. So we're done. And the solution to this puzzle is lion, herb, bird. And that's that. goes underground. Huh. That's it. That's our way out. Lieutenant Brana! Marvin! It's time to go. Hey, Marvin. Ah! <sighs> we need to get you to a hospital right now. No, no, I... Uh, save yourself. Come on, I've got you. No! Look, we can still make it out of here together. Just can... It's too late. I tried, Leon. But I couldn't stop it. We can't let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go. I understand. Another box of shotgun shells there, and where the ink ribbon would be on hardcore difficulty, we got a blue gunpowder, a gunpowder A. In case you're wondering about the aiming on the stairs, it actually makes Leon move a little faster on the stairs. This isn't a speed run, in case the disclaimer did not get that out of the way. But uh, speed running and doing things to not waste time are two different things. So that's all I was doing. So all that ammo we stocked up is about to come to our rescue right now. No 
choice. Gotta take it down. Of course, the idea is to shoot and keep shooting. But after he transforms again, when he starts to run after you, this is when we have to start luring him around in a circle. Birkin has about, I don't know, 3,000 more HP on professional, but you're going to have more than enough ammo playing this on hardcore. Just keep luring him around in a circle and keep firing. There's really not, a, there's really nothing to it, uh, except just make sure that uh, wherever you're about to move, you can move easily because the movement in this game is a little bit jank. I usually like to fire from over here, or if we go around the corner, just a moment. Did I run out of ammo here? I'm pretty sure I did not. Yep, okay, there we go. I'm not actually sure like what the uh, damage modifier is for whenever you shoot him in the eye. Uh, Somebody's watching. Me. It is reasonably worth trying as long as, as long as you have enough space between you and him. But it's not mandatory to shoot Birkin in the eye. Really, all you got to do is just make sure that you have enough ammo and uh, keep chasing him around in a circle. Because if I didn't miss all those shots and I just went for body shots instead then I would have beat him with roughly the same amount of ammo that I started with. I was just going for the eyes. Just for the hell of it, mostly. Also, I accidentally said professional mode. My bad. I meant hardcore mode. I don't know, man. The hardest difficulty always has a different name in every Resident Evil game. Nightmare mode, hardcore mode, madhouse mode, very hard mode, arrange mode. Kind of thing. still pick up all of the ammo in the basement over here because the handgun actually comes in handy for some things, especially for shooting Mr. Raccoons. Side pack number three is in the locker over here. And Q cutscene. Key card. You gotta be kidding me. Get off of me. Hey. Who is that? Stay sharp. Lower it. If 
FBI. Sorry. Thank you. For your help. Surprised you made it this far. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Hey! I'm not done talking to you! Gotta go ahead and decapitate that zombie now, because it will start crawling towards us whenever we escape with the garage key card later. Hello? Hey. I don't believe it. A real human. <laughs> Hello, human. You been here long? Long enough. Are we the last ones alive? No. No, there's a few of us. Huh. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's, of course, Iron sent you. Irons. You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. Hey, I'll make you a deal. Unlock this cell and I'll give you this. There's no other way out of that parking garage. Believe me. Sorry. I can't do that. I have to talk to the chief first. Look, we're both prisoners in the station. So either we play nice and help each other out. Or... Shit. It's coming. What? What's coming? Come on. Come on, don't be an asshole. Okay, you need this. Just get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Who is that? It's just me. So we can put that thing away. I, I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. Had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me. I don't even know your name. I'm Leon Kennedy. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Then we'll talk. Name's Ada. Well, I guess the deal's on. Man, poor Ben. Anywho, now begins the RPD-2 segment. Before we head deeper into the basement over here, we're going to run over to the firing range. which they sort of put back in here. I reckon at one point it was going to be a, uh, a thing in the final game, but it made sense for a police station in the 1998 game to have a firing range, but sort of didn't make it, I guess. Gonna take the gunpowder over here and we're going to use the handgun to mop up these dogs over here. 
Save our shotgun shells for zombies. Or the other dogs that bust out later. We'll use the uh, crank, the emergency crank over here. Take the boxed electronic part, one of two. Then we'll go to this power panel here to turn on the power to the door. In Leon A, it's uh, switches three and four that will turn that on. Because we killed the dogs in the kennels, uh, we only have to worry about three dogs busting out and running around instead of four. Well, six, rather. It's actually, uh, it's actually four dogs that we have to deal with. So we just shot the dog there. Another dog is going to come up around the garbage over there, so we shoot him. Just getting rid of this zombie over here. Pick up the autopsy record. That's our uh, that's our next file. There's a flash grenade in there. The reason why I picked that up is because we want to pick up as few flash grenades as possible, but save the uh, ones that are easiest to get to for last. Like, we want to pick up every flash grenade in the game, but for now, we just want to save the, e the ones that are easiest to get to for last. Because then we can pick those up last, and whenever we have enough inventory slots to be able to keep them all. What I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to keep moving the slab a little bit so that I can... Uh, get the uh, diamond key without waking that zombie up, but as you can see, I failed. It would have been pretty cool if I'd pull it off, but it doesn't matter. We're never headed back this way anyway. I'm gonna wax this dog over here. Then we're gonna exit the basement. But actually, not yet gonna take out these dogs first try to snipe the first one son of a bitch I uh, I'm not really sure that uh, the developers even were even able to grasp the irony of Leon just yelling son of a bitch at an enemy it just sort of happened the easiest way to handle these dogs is to uh, cheese them at the door over here. Just pop a shotgun shell in the door. We don't want to get too close because the dogs can actually bite us as we leave the room, but one shotgun shell is going to be enough to get the dogs if you can hit them. Try not to use all your shotgun shells. Before we head back into the garage, we'll uh, pay another visit to the firing range to get the last uh, diamond key items, but we're saving that for later so that we can save on inventory space until it is time to leave the RPD. We'll be able to pick up anything that we missed in RPD 3 upon getting side packs 4 and 5. Another Mr. Raccoon statue is right there. There was also one in the garage. I think in this run I missed the uh, Mr. Raccoon in the uh, in the star's office. Try to stab that. Try to get 
these guys out of the way, but that's what the uh, knives are for in my inventory. This is a breakout for whenever I need them. Just try to equip the uh, knife that I use the most. So it gets out of my inventory faster if I need it out of my inventory faster. Elliot wearing a bulletproof vest. As you can see, it uh, fat lot of fat lot of good that did. Looks like I wasn't so lucky that time to be able to put the uh, the board on the window there. Also, that zombie zigged and zagged a little too much. Decided to wait for her to bust down the door because a zombie actually can't link into a grab from busting a door down. It can stun you and follow up with a grab after it's busting down the door animation is done, but it can't actually grab you that way. Uh, maybe maybe right about here was when I tried to yeah there it is so whenever you get whenever you get off a handgun stun you can follow it up with a shotgun shell as you saw immobilizes them long enough for you to get into killing range with the shotgun because the shotgun requires you to be a lot closer to zombies until you can upgrade it Get the last use of the crank out over here. Then head to the third floor. By the way, if I uh, if it turns out that I don't get 100% of everything in one video, the uh, achievement does track across all four scenarios. Like the achievements for the Mr. Raccoons and the files do track across all four scenarios. So you can watch the other videos and uh, try to follow along with those as I uh, release them if you're looking for the rest of the files because I did get all the files on all four scenario runs. So go in there. We're not even going to worry about those zombies. We're just going to grab the giant cog and uh, throw away a defense item in order to pick it up. Now we're at our point of no return between us and Mr. X. Shit. My reaction exactly upon realizing that the shotgun didn't decapitate that first zombie. But uh, he's done. So I'm sure as you've noticed by now, I pretty much mix exclusively shotgun shells throughout the scenario. Really, the trick to getting an S plus rank or doing a no box run or anything is just very strict inventory management. Just very strict inventory management and generally not dallying around with things like going back and forth between inventory or between item boxes. Don't gotta worry about that. Jesus Christ. So now marks the appearance of uh, Mr. X. Man, 
Man, I gotta say, I absolutely love, love what they did with Mr. X overall in Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's easily my favorite part of the game. Because it forces you to think on your feet a lot. And I also love the music that accompanies them. It's like just this claustrophobic wall of death that just like draws all your attention to him and suddenly every enemy that was ever in your way just becomes a roadblock. Because by this, by this point, the rest of the enemies just like aren't even as scary as the fear of getting ripped apart by Mr. X if he catches you. Which is absolutely brilliant. So you can see I came into the hallway and went out so that the liquor would disappear. That causes the liquor to move into the area outside of the armory where we picked up the shotgun earlier. But we're not revisiting that until our PD3. Because we got plenty of defense items at this point, I'm just dropping, getting rid of a knife and uh, picking up the, uh, the crank here. There's a very high chance of Mr. X popping in over here. Yep, there's the footsteps. And if you hear Mr. X's music, it means that Mr. X knows 100% where you are. So we gotta lose him again. Now that we got the jack, we're going to move directly into the library. Hopefully you uh, paid attention and we set up the shelves in advance. Because if you didn't, then we got to use a flash grenade on Mr. X in order to be able to line up these shelves correctly. Which I maybe should have mentioned earlier, but I think I got tongue twisted by something else earlier. My bad. Hopefully by now, if you've seen this, you've seen my hardcore runs and you kind of already know why I do what I do in a lot of cases. This is mostly for the uh, for the no box and for picking up all of the uh, collectibles and whatnot. So we're gonna hug the wall over here to get this zombie in view and uh, stun him, decapitate him, do the same thing with this one. They actually take a long time to recover from stun. The zombies, I, I actually wasn't even uh, wasn't even aware that it took that long for them to recover like that. Mr. X cannot follow you into the clock tower, so we are safe to solve the puzzle here. There's the repair plan right there. Got to grab the large cog. Take the small cog, put in the large cog. <sighs> Gonna take a little detour into this area over here. Grab the large gunpowder which if we mix with a yellow gunpowder later we'll get six shotgun shells instead of two or three this. 
Okay, there he is. Mr. X is way over on the other side there, so forget him. We're gonna run this way. Leon gets to take advantage of this here shortcut over here to bust down. Because we already waxed the zombies earlier, we can head back into the main hall. By now, we are long gone. We have lost the shit out of Mr. X. We can just go through the first floor into the basement. I think right about now is when I can pick up the flash grenade. Do I do that? No. So I get it during RPD3. Probably for the better anyway. There were some magnum rounds in the room to the left, but I'm not going to worry about that. Because it's, like, what? A very, very small number of magnum rounds. Like, not even worth the trip. Not even worth holding on to them for. Grab the lunchbox over here. And then we're going to use the diamond key over here. And get one get rid of one of our defense items in order to get the uh, film. One of several films that we need to develop. Now we can open up the lunchbox. And open up the police car to get the stock for the Matilda. But we have to get rid of the car key there. We'll also equip our flash grenades because we need those in order to exit the prison safely. We'll open up the boxes for the cube conductors here and use both of these and then we will arrange all of these like so. No timer on these puzzles or anything. There's a first aid spray by the toilet if you want it. this lever over here to get into the prison or to get into the uh, west side of the prison where there are no zombies but Mr. X is going to head us off right here so we're going to stay right here let Mr. X come over here and then we're going to take a wide circle around him and then when we get around the corner over here we're going to toss a flash grenade at the zombies there we go all done and we are out of here one flash grenade is all it takes. Q cutscenes.
<laughs> yeah. This is getting old. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. You gotta kill me. Nothing dies down here. this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Let's get out of here. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Road's out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. There's a grenade and shotgun parts. The uh, shotgun parts here actually uh, allow us to decapitate zombies from further. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy? They did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna you to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. It's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out, 
Whatever it takes to save this city. Count me in. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Burke. She's the one who this is going to get to it. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Gee, thanks. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Jesus! That an earthquake? Chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. There's a grenade to the left, and a Mr. Raccoon statue would be over here. Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Leon, up here. What the hell was... Just get up here. <sighs> Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Definitely William's handiwork. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! I 
expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. I'm right outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette. But you can't hide. It's secret weapon time. After destroying that, we'll flip the uh, power over to that door over there. There is an achievement where if you do not use any weapons or sub-weapons at all, you can get an achievement for clearing the Ada section with only the EMF visualizer, but that's something that I only recommend doing on standard, if at all. I go up here, go around here to uh, get around the uh, zombie directly blocking our way. This guy's going to fall down over here, and we're going to turn on the power over here. We're going to back up over here, grab handgun bullets and a flash grenade. Well, he's stumbling around. What a jerk. Fine by me. Use the opportunity to go this way. And those two zombies coming around the corner will use the flash grenade on those and head directly to the elevator now. Got you now. Always been good at running. that to turn on this switch over here and at, while the door is moving we'll flip the power over to the fan overload it and get going Take the inspection notes next to the lever here. Then we'll head down. Over to the Mr. Raccoon pedestal, which is sitting over here in the trash. And grab the bracelet. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. 
And you won't die alone. Basically just solve the puzzle as you see it. Overload one, switch, overload another, overload three, then slick, hit that switch in order to overload number two. She's doing. Visitor clearance confirmed. Your ID is authorized until October 1st. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. That is now the end of the Ada section. Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. If you don't cooperate, I'll get a sample from the nest. Over my dead body. Ada? Damn it. Ada? Where are you? Back to playing as Leon. Obviously ignore the save point over here. Jump into the water. That's a pleasant smell. If we duck into the left path over here, there's gonna be some shotgun shells. Grab shotgun shells and this guy is going to be halfway down the stairs over here. But that's okay. Doesn't matter too much because we now have the range advantage with the modified W870. Just decapitate that guy because he will come back later. Decapitate that guy because he also will come back later. And we're going to decapitate this guy because, well, fuck him.
We had a blue gunpowder earlier. So I'm going to equip a knife as my sub weapon here, but check this out. The part of the animation where the, the uh, G-Mutant pops out, whenever you shoot a G-Mutant's back and it pops out of the water, the part where it goes, you'll notice that it goes up and then down as it gets situated in the water. Whenever it goes down is when it is safe to pass around, but when it goes up, while it's going up as it's popping out of the water is uh, going to knock Leon around a little bit. Where'd she go? So it takes a little bit of practice, but it's actually quite easy to do once you understand the uh, frame data behind it. I don't like the sound of that. Ada. I'm coming, Ada. Pulling the lever to lower the uh, bridge over here. Not really sure what the point of that was, except I guess just put the bridge in the same room. Anywho, we're pretty loaded on items. Decided to get rid of the knife here in order to make room for the uh, for the tool, the T-bar handle. The delivery receipt is at the bottom of these stairs over here. Not horrifically difficult to miss. Before we move on though, we're going to open up the safe that the delivery receipt is referencing. The solutions to the safe are on the right side of it. And the solution is 2128. Take the shotgun stock, combine it. It'll allow us to fire the W870 faster. <laughs> Wax these mofos over here. But before we move on, I'm gonna shoot this guy because he will come back later. Just a little bit of uh, preventative care. Use the T-bar handle to open this area up here. I actually don't remember if I keep the handgun ammo here or not. Let's see what I do in order to get the, the sewer key. <laughs> this key is absolutely necessary to get back into the RPD. Yeah, okay, so I got rid of the handgun bullets, which is fine. I don't really need handgun bullets for too terribly much, except shooting G embryos whenever G mutants puke them up. So as long as the handgun is full, it's got 24 bullets, don't gotta worry about much. Pull that, drop down, grab the grenades, Gonna be another slidey boy popping out of the tunnel over here. We're just gonna go this way. We don't wanna run directly towards the ledge over here because if we do, while the slidey boy is spawning, then the slidey boy is going to stun us and possibly grab us. We want to avoid getting grabbed by the slidey boys at all costs. Absolutely all costs. Three boxes of shotgun shells here, then we're gonna go up the elevator here. There's gonna be another zombie on the ground, we'll just decapitate him. 
Grab the uh, side pack directly to the left. Some more handgun bullets and a uh, roll of film. Use this key on both these doors over here in order to expend it so we can get rid of it immediately. In standard mode, there's going to be a yellow gunpowder and a large gunpowder, which you can combine and get six shotgun shells immediately. as you can no doubt deduct by now, we're doing pretty good on ammo. We got nothing to worry about. Right about now is also when we start to stock magnum rounds. Duct, deduce, whatever. I'm tired. Leave me alone. We'll use the uh, T valve handle here and it'll almost be done. Marvin being used. Oh no. Damn it. Ideally I'll stop this, Lieutenant. I promise. Ideally, we'd have used the T-bar handle on the last uh, thing to use the T-bar handle on. kind of just taking up space in my inventory at the moment. I went back to the library, grabbed the red book, combined it with the hand over here, and now we have the scepter, which I will promptly examine and take the gem out of. Get rid of the handgun bullets. Don't got to worry about no handgun bullets here. But I will have to pick up this board so that I can use it on the window down here and not have the zombie come through. So because this is RPD3, we don't have to worry about encountering Mr. X ever. We're free to just explore the rest of the RPD and pick up some super powerful gear. It's pretty fantastic. Now that we're in here, we can combine the blue gunpowder with the yellow gunpowder we just picked up. There's the confiscation report, which uh, tells the solution to the safe in the second floor east reception room. But uh, kind of pointless since we got that very, very, very early on.
Now we're going to cross back into the library and use the diamond key on the diamond key door outside of the star's office so that we can nix that from our inventory next. Must have been reading chat or something. Behind this diamond key door is one of the portable safes. The next portable safe is in the locker room. There's still a liquor in here, so we gotta be very, very quiet. Uh, notice how long it took me to actually pick up this portable safe, and uh, the reason for that was because I didn't even need it yet. Now that I have both the portable safes, I'm going to move back down here, pick up the medicinal benefits of Herb's book, Turn on the light. Some throwback music here. We got this, the uh, combination to the third floor locker. And also the location of the hiding place. So this puzzle here is randomized every time. It's not necessary to do these in order to beat the game, but it is necessary in order to get all the side packs. So basically what I'm doing is I'm writing down the number of each of the of each of the uh, buttons and where they correspond to and then just punch them in order. I'm just going ahead and taking care of all this while I'm in the same menu because I'm about to use them in a bit anyway. As soon as I can find the sequence. So that one was seven, one, five, eight, seven, one, five. Eight, seven, one, five. No. Two, eight, seven, one, five. I said two, eight, seven, one, five. Three. Okay, so four, two. Four, two, eight, seven, one, five. Fuck! It's impossible to get the puzzle perfect, so. Just like, don't worry about it, just take your time. And while this liquor is here, we're gonna sneak right behind him. And then run directly into the armory. The liquors actually cannot follow you in here. So what I like to do is I like to uh, just keep popping the door open. The liquors won't lick you. They'll just keep running back and forth between either side of the door. So we can just cheese him from over here and he's done. And we'll put down both of these uh, both of these keys over here. Then we'll hit 103, 106. 102. 2. And then 203. And 208. So now everything is open, and now we can get all of it. Oh, also, in case you're wondering about the costume, this is a DLC costume that's supposed to be a throwback to Resident Evil 2 Classic. After we got everything, we can uh, just exit out here and start walking. The liquor will not chase us. Liquors do not aggro unless you touch them or you run. So just simply do not run.
once we get back into this hallway, we're just going to walk over to the star's office. Because the liquor is on the ceiling right there, as you can see. We'll pick up the internal memo of behind Wesker's desk. Take the wooden box. And take this other uh, roll of film. Did I even bother to go for the Mr. Raccoon this time? I'm not sure that I did. I hope I did. If not, I'm pretty sure I shoot it in Claire A. But there is a Mr. Raccoon in the star's office that I definitely did not shoot when I was uh, playing through here earlier. If I didn't shoot it, oh well. But I'll still tell you where it is anyway. just on the exact opposite side of this room. It's on like Rebecca's desk or something like that. But now we have the Magnum, the scope for the Magnum. Now we can head back to the first floor in order to develop two more rolls of film, but also we want to head up the stairs and do the third floor locker so that we can get even more magnum rounds. I'm trying to get as many magnum rounds as we can right now because that's going to come in handy against these slighty boys in the uh, G mutant hive or the organ trail as I like to call it. I had too many blues so I just decided to mix some more handgun bullets just to get those out of my inventory. DCM is the solution to this puzzle right here. Now we have 16 magnum rounds. And uh, we can go check out the other hiding spot. The first hiding spot was Wesker's desk. The second hiding spot is in the press room, which we uh, collected some handgun bullets in at the beginning of the game. But we have to go back through this way anyway. Oh wow! For a second, uh, thought uh, thought I didn't decapitate her. Whoops. Okay. Those two zombies down. Go in here, and it's this drawer to the left. I can do this. The zombie thinks he's an owl or something. That's funny, he was looking directly at me, but he's still trying to reach through the hole. Fuck that noise. Now we have that last flash grenade and we can make our way back to the sewers. I was debating if I wanted to pick up the uh, stuff that was in that supply closet there, but nah, I did not. Getting back on the elevator and headed back to the sewers to go to the organ trail next. 
But on our way out, we're going to use the badge that we picked up from the uh, jewel box earlier. We're going to retract the USB stick. There's also a grenade right there that I also purposely did not pick up until now because I stockpile every single grenade, and I mean every single grenade, for the very end of the game because I despise fighting Super Tyrant. So the Magnum now has a long barrel, and G-Mutants will just fucking die. And that's what the Magnum is for, to just make G-Mutants fucking die so that we can leave. Three zombies will pop out of the water over here. Click button. Make bad thing fall down. Pretty gross. This is also the last use of the uh, T-bar handle is on this last valve over here. I got turned around here. I think I was playing this in like broad daylight or something. Now why am I going back here? Was there a file that I missed? Oh no, it was the uh, it was the uh, the rook plug. That's what I needed. I almost forgot the rook plug. <laughs> but yeah, I don't do the uh, knife strats on the Super Tyrant because that is way risky. I can't figure out how to get the Super Tyrant to cooperate with me under any circumstances, so I just use grenades on him. So now that we're down here, we want to engage the G-Mutants one at a time. Pop the first one out of the water with the handgun. And then we'll use the Magnum. We're going to focus shot his eye. I was actually supposed to focus shot the eye twice and use fewer handgun bullets than that, but two magnum bullets is enough to be able to finish him off with a handgun after that. I had to use one handgun bullet in order to get the, uh, the protective covering off of the eyeball. Okay, so now that that's done, grab some more uh, magnum bullets over here. The two bad ones are out of the way. Now we gotta get rid of this one. You don't actually have to get rid of them. You can get around them pretty easy. But I choose to, uh, I choose to just go ahead and eliminate him. Just so he doesn't like pop up and uh, we run the risk of getting grabbed. Really avoiding getting grabbed by G-Mutants is all uh, positioning. There's a Mr. Raccoon over here, by the way.
We need four inventory slots free in order to be able to get the flamethrower, the queen plug, and the king plug. So to get around that guy, he's uh, going to try to football tackle us. We're going to go up the ledge, and then when he goes into the water, we're going to jump into the water. Whenever he tries to come out of the water after a football tackle, the uh, slighty boys, they'll, uh, they won't they will actually cause any stuns, so you can just run right around them, which is why I did it that way. First up, we're going to put down the king plug just to get it out of our inventory. Then we're going to take the bishop plug, put the queen plug in the top right, take the knight plug, then we'll put the rook plug in the middle left, and stick the knight plug in the top left, and the uh, bishop on. plug. Nope, nope, nope. It's wrong. I, I was supposed to switch out, switch around the... Uh, the queen plug and the king plug. I messed up. There we go. Okay. Almost there, Ada. One, two, four, in order to turn on the power to the waste disposal. <sighs> Trying to walk Jesus over there in order Christ. to trigger Birkin to come down here. We got 800 flamethrower fuel, so we're just going to go ahead and torch his arm whenever it comes down. Birkin a little bit, and then he's going to go in there, and then we're going to run towards the wall here. While Birkin is being a ninny and slashing the wall, we're going to run this way. But at that point, he's got significantly less HP. So getting him down the first time will be quite easy. 
Gonna toss a flash. We do need flashes for this fight. Actually, two flashes. After he goes down, we're going to use about 150 flamethrower fuel or so, and then wait for him to get back up. Then we're going to throw another grenade, stun him, and use about that much more fuel. Now I got you. And by this point, the boss should have below uh, should have below 12,000 HP. And if his HP is below 12,000, then the crane will finish him off. But if not, then it'll just do 7,000 damage to him. It's been a really long time since I've uh, done a commentary for Resident Evil 2 Remake. And I wasn't using the SRT throughout the entire course of hope that's the last of them. these uh, no damage playthroughs, being that I was playing them on PS4. But I go a little more in depth into things like damage values and whatnot in the hardcore videos, so go check those out. Come on. The hardcore no save, no damage runs I did. Ada! Ada, where are you? Over here! Ada. I was getting worried there for a sec. I can't get it out. I, I don't know if I should, uh... Just do it. I can't walk like this. Okay. It's gonna hurt. <clears throat> Hold on. I can do it myself. Just relax, okay? So, what do we do now? Get yourself out of here. While well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. You don't understand. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. Grab my shoulder. Oh, don't push it, rookie. Okay, I'm just trying to help. Watch your step. You want to help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit in my schedule. Come on. We got work to do. Yes, ma'am. Kate will Carl take us down to Nest. My wristbands are ticket to ride. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon. Trust me? 
trust me? Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. Look, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Nita, you said it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just going to leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I got to see this through. And I want to see you again. I got plenty to live for. Trust me. Now, arriving at Nest. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Leon. Counting on you. I know. So upon entering the cafeteria over here, the living quarters, I'm gonna grab a hand grenade, turn around and grab the fuel over here. Then we're gonna climb this ladder. Zombies can not climb ladders. We're gonna take out our handgun and we are going to shoot the Mr. Raccoon that's sitting on the table over here. hard to uh, bite me when that dude's head is in a million pieces. I'm not going to bother grabbing the large gunpowder either because our inventory is full and I think I'd rather put a priority on holding on to that defense item for now. Although I could have easily gotten rid of the uh, handgun bullets in my inventory. And as it turns out I did for another defense item. Really all I would have done was mix the handgun, or sorry, the uh, large gunpowder with the yellow gunpowder to get more shotgun shells anyway. No, I think at this point, actually, I start to mix more magnum rounds. I wonder where the G-Virus is. The nap room log is there, then there's the ID wristbands memo. Three more shotgun shells and the research lab north area map. G virus is Got it. The recording transcript there. G virus is in the west area. We're not getting there, so we gotta go through the east area.
make our way in here and grab the uh, yellow gunpowder. We'll get rid of the uh, extra flamethrower fuel because we don't actually need it. We have a full 400 flamethrower fuel, which is uh, pretty much all we need for uh, Birkin G3. We're going to start by hitting 3123, three, and then we're going to hit 2067. In order to open up the drug testing lab. Eh, maybe as it turns out, I didn't need that extra knife after all. Need to have an inventory slot free in order to grab the canister here. Dispensing solution now. mix up more shotgun shells with that large gunpowder, but maybe it's right about here that I decided to save the yellow gunpowder for more magnum rounds. Manual mode engaged. The solution the here solution is red, green, blue. Capacity. Red, green, blue. Red, green. So RG, BRG, BRG. So now we're in this basement area. There are no liquors active yet, but there will be liquors active in a little bit. We're going to start by decapitating all three of these zombies over here. And then when we get to this column over here, we're going to start walking. The liquor is going to bust down here in a moment. But if we ran any sooner, then the liquor would have been aggroed and our ass would have been grass. <laughs> oh, zombie about to flop down there. Boom, boom. While this bitch is getting up, I'm going to take careful aim, get rid of her, combine the magnum rounds here, grab the uh, s signal modulator, excuse me. We're going to exit into the save room here and then go right back downstairs. but not before we uh, head all the way back to the cafeteria so that we can get the final side pack. Sometimes there's a zombie there, but uh, he has short work. In general, the laboratory goes by pretty quickly as long as you stop to take a look at what's in front of you. 
So there's the final hit pouch, and then we're going to... There's that last Mr. Raccoon. Well, where the last Mr. Raccoon would be in Leon's scenario. Then there's Wayne Lee's note. And we're headed back to the East Lab. Yeah, hopefully I shoot that uh, Mr. Raccoon in the star's office in one of these other scenarios. If not, I definitely get in that Leon B video that I recorded over 11 months ago. Oh yeah, so fun fact. Um, I actually recorded the Leon B no save, no damage, no box, 100% run first. And that was about 11 months ago when the game was still fresh. I thought about making like two sets of walkthroughs, but I stopped pretty quickly because I thought that uh, I was already being pretty redundant with the console strats videos that I did. And I just sort of lost motivation after playing the game for a month straight, so. I'm back, did these in like a week, and it's all done. Oh yeah, also, there's a file right there that I just picked up and I completely missed. One that uh, talks about the Groots and how to get rid of them. So because we went into the save room and we, and we went back down here, if you watched the hardcore run that I did, then you might remember that the two liquors were actually bunched up around here. By going into the save room and coming back down here, they actually are no longer grouped together and we can get around just one liquor instead of two. Flicker can smell us. He starts to move closer, ever closer to us once we walk closer. Because you can hear footsteps now. Whatever you do, don't start running. Just stay calm. That's the trick with Lickers. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Never fight them. Welcome they can't back, follow you from room to room. Lee. You have five new messages. <sighs> Who left the freezer open? Cooling sequence in progress. I think I was uh, taking a moment to talk to chat here. Maybe gifting some subs. I don't know. There we go. So we got the we got the herbicide back. And because the power is on in the basement now, we can go to walk toward the save room that is down here. That liquor is just gonna chill on the wall here. He ain't going nowhere. There's the high grade gunpowder yellow. Take this flamethrower fuel, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay. We took it. No more liquors for the rest of the game. I 
I like to use the shotguns to knock all the Groots back because regardless of whether you hit a bulb or not, it always seems to knock them back so you can get around them. Just pop and run. Dispensing solution now. Did the trick. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without compensation. Your actions have been locked and you may to be subject to disciplinary measures. While that Groot is getting up, we're just gonna run right by all of them. Just don't even worry about Mr. X, just Make a straight beeline out of the room. Grab this last uh, flash grenade here. We'll stun this one and squeeze by him. Try to stun the other. And we'll pick up this uh, file over here. Byron Cartwright's inbox. One more hand grenade over here. Then we're going to use the uh, signal modulator. One last time. Set it to OS. The uh, yellow gunpowder I just picked up is actually only available in standard. Can't get it anywhere else. Mix up a few more shotgun shells. It's the last ammo we got. do a quick check here to see if there was another file, but I don't think it was. Just the uh, research diary. Just Birkin's research diary and uh, Birkin's emails. Huh. That was easy. Alright. Now back to Ada. Pretty much every file that I could pick up in Leon A and almost every Mr. Raccoon. But I'll get the rest in the other scenarios. So now we're just going to focus on finishing strong. Tell me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. 
right from the start. So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> <laughs> So first up, we're going to shoot the eye on the leg and then shoot the eye on the back. Then we're going to run all the way over here. And while Birkin is running all the way over here, we're going to grab the flamethrower fuel. And then we're going to focus shot the eye on the shoulder. I missed the uh, eye on the leg earlier, but I was supposed to be able to hit the eye on the leg. So that, that way, I'd uh, have Birkin a little bit closer to the center. So I have a lot of options for being able to get away from him now. But we're gonna use about 200 flamethrower fuel. Well, down about a, about 170 actually, but I'm gonna distance myself and I'm gonna keep aiming at him because uh, Birkin does read your button inputs a little bit and he actually does react to whenever you aim at him. So if you do that, then you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to uh, get him to jump. There's a, uh, there's that four-piece combo. I actually got a little lucky there. And after that's done, we're just going to burn as much as we can. Got him just before he uh, started ripping panels off the walls. The flamethrower just makes absolutely quick work of Perkin. Just get rid of the eyes and uh, go for the flame. Some magnet bullets over here. There was a flash grenade I just picked up. First aid spray right there if you need it. destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch? What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. That's bullshit. <gasps> Gets into the wrong hands. Self 
level 4 virus detected. Facility lockdown initiated. Self-destruct system. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the central elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom level train platform. Attention. I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. You know, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. The way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. And she claims you're not FBI. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? Because I realized, as much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. You shoot me. But I don't think you can. Take care of yourself, Leon. No! Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, 
Are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. So because Leon gets to go down the uh, escape sequence after Claire, Claire's actually the first person that escapes in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. So we go down here and these, uh, these Groots over here are already awake. They actually were not awake before when Claire passes through here with Sherry, conveniently. So we gotta stun them in order to run past them. A lot of weird continuity stuff in Resident Evil 2 re Remake between Mr. X's appearances, who fights Birkin, stuff like that. Gonna unequip the uh, Magnum, and then we're gonna equip grenades. So the reason why I uh, unequipped the Magnum is because it makes Leon pull grenades out of his pocket faster. Quick little animation trick. Also, I'm using some uh, what I like to call strat de rocks or strategies that Matt de Rock came up with. Little optimizations, anyhow. So. Check this out. One, as soon as he starts walking, and we're just going to make sure the grenade lands in front of the tyrant so it starts knocking him back. And we just want to keep knocking him back seven times. Four. Five. Six. What is it with this thing? And after the seventh grenade is when we start to run this way, because then he'll jump after us after the seventh grenade. So once that happens, we just run straight forward him and to Leon's uh, right. Then we'll just intermittently keep stunning the tyrant with grenades. And after every second grenade is when he's going to jump. So the big chunk of concrete fell behind us, and then we're down to our flash grenades. Now he's about to do his uh, charge attack. A flash grenade will interrupt every single charge attack. on the tyrant here, grab the anti-tank rocket, and boom. Jesus Christ, that was close. I should have maybe backed off a little more and used another grenade, but sometimes the uh, best defense is a fast offense. 
and that decision paid off. So it was dead. Oftentimes when I do that, when I do risky shit like that, sometimes I think about how I could have done that a little safer, but whatever. If it worked, it worked. That's uh, Leon A. No item box, no save, no damage. 100%. So I'll be uh, releasing more no item box, no save, no damage, 100% videos for Claire A, Claire B, and Leon B later. So that's the end of that. Uh, anything that I very blatantly missed, I know that I blatantly missed it. <laughs> because you can't get 100% of everything in a single playthrough. You can do it in both the B scenarios, but in the A scenarios, you, uh, you can only get so much. So I got as much as I could remember to get in the A scenarios, and anything that I did not get I made a very special point to pick it up in other scenarios, so check out the other videos for uh, the locations of other items that I might have missed, because the save file tracks, like the save file, whenever you're getting the achievement for 100%, it tracks all of the collectibles that you've picked up globally. So. Mr. Raccoons that you would have shot in one scenario will remain shot out whenever you play a different scenario. And it also counts like overall files picked up towards getting the achievement as well. I have no idea if the, uh, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I have no idea if the side packs, if picking up all the side packs in hardcore mode counts as picking up all the side packs for that achievement. Or if you have to do it on standard, I just did it on standard to be safe. But even so, doing it on standard meant that I could go and pick up every single weapon and all of their upgrades as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check out my uh, Patreon if you are interested in supporting my content in any way, monetarily speaking. My content will always be free, but... Uh, it is through your gracious support on Patreon and other platforms such as Twitch that I am capable of making this my full-time job. So definitely please check out my Patreon. Uh, for as little as $1, you get early access to all of my videos weeks in advance before I actually release them onto my YouTube channel proper. And uh, for the $5 tier, you can also look at uh, work in progress videos of some of my segmented runs. I try to get commentary done for those as well, so it's just a little something extra if you want to take a sneak peek. 
Otherwise, I do all of my all of my videos live on Twitch. I just do post recordings and uh, or post commentary recordings off of my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda. Speaking of which, this was recorded in front of a live studio audience at twitch.tv slash carcinogensda. Say hi, chat. Say hi, YouTube. So within the coming uh, within the coming weeks, eh, probably about like maybe once every seven days or so, I'll probably release another release more videos as I can. But at the time of this recording, I'm also working on Resident Evil 7 No Save No Damage and a Silent Hill 3 No Damage Run with saves. So if you want to see all of those live, check out. Uh, Check out my stream. So until next time, thank you all for watching. Check out my YouTube channel. Check out my playlists to see all the games that I play, survival horror or otherwise. Thank you very much for watching, and see you guys next video. Later.